Hello you guys, it is Monday. Welcome to the start of another week. We are on our way to Rhode Island. We are actually going to be staying for a couple weeks uh, so I can get some intensive rehab done. We had originally made these physical therapy appointments because my sister was booked in to have surgery and would be using the physical therapy as her recovery. But when she moved her surgery, we kind of just decided as a family, like why don't we just keep the appointments um, Christina can take some, Lauren can take some. This way we don't have to manage that grueling drive when we're already miserable. It's gonna be pretty great, but it's gonna be a really long day. And I, I thought I looked so stealthy. Like I thought I was totally covering up this brace with this scarf and flannel. And now that I'm seeing myself, I'm clearly not. I do have a hat. We'll see how that goes. Also, shout out to Carrie, Invisible Carrie on Instagram for breaking my bank account and showing this pillow in her story the other day. It's like a regular pillow with like two pillows built in on the side to kind of hold you steady. And I found with this brace, it works way better than the neck pillows. So I'll link it down below. It's a little pricey for a pillow, but with all the driving that we do, this is gonna save my life. So thanks a lot, Carrie. Love you, girl. My lungs are still pretty fragile after the lung collapse. So I have to wear a mask whenever I go out, especially in a medical setting. It's not really helping with the whole fashion thing. I made this scarf last night while I was listening to my audiobook. I wanted something that had like brown in it and black and gray because those are the only colors I seem to own and it's actually really comfortable it's just like a little infinity scarf only took a couple hours I like it I don't know I'm trying to decide if I want to add tassels because I have that incessant need to go overboard with everything I do <laughs> I think I'm just gonna leave it I think it looks good the way it is but I wish why did they choose a bright blue for this who decides on these things? You know, they pick like this, like super noticeable black and white combo. And then they go for like the brightest blue ever. Looks like I'm about to get a scope up the nose. They're gonna take this tube, put it up my nose, and look down my throat, which is super exciting. I have no idea what we're looking at right now, but that is apparently inside of me. And guess what, guys? Your girl has some pretty great looking vocal cords, which is really surprising because I can't sing at all. <laughs> Best feeling ever. You need to finally take off your mask oh, and actually breathe. <sighs> you guys get me. Don't you just love it when your feeding tube leaks all over your lap on your long drive? Brand new pants, first time wearing them, of course. I love these pants. Gosh darn it. At least we have <laughs> like all of our belongings packed in this car. Oh god. <laughs> it looks like I like peed myself, which actually probably would be better trying to pack like tissues because it's all we could find. We used to have towels, but my dad moved them when he was packing the car. It just seems like the pressure in my stomach is just too high to take the feeds lately. It was first leaking up at the top, so I taped it down there, and now it's just like leaking out of the oh, connection. Shoot. We took all the stuff off the top and stuck it in a different bag. Anyway, I'm gonna try changing the car, which should be interesting. All right, guys, I just finished my very first PT session for my little PT boot camp, and now we are at the Airbnb. We are exploring. This is our little kitchen tour. It's actually really cute here. The bathroom is over here, and this is weird little galley kitchen thing here. My mom is calling it the butler's pantry. The weird thing about this house that I'm kind of worried about is that every single room has a different floor and they're all tilted in like different directions <laughs> and I just know that I'm gonna like trip or fall. Literally, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say hi. A different temperature. <laughs> 
Yeah, I think it's haunted because there's just a lot of cold spots. This is my room. Cool poster. Through, there's a door here that I could actually get to Lauren's room through, but I can't open that door. Kitchen, living space. This is gonna be Lauren's room. And my mom's taking the blue room. This whole place is so nicely decorated and they have like chalkboard walls. It's just really kind of cute and quaint. You can tell these people watch HGTV. Yeah, so these are our new digs for the next couple weeks. Not too shabby, although freezing. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just found my favorite piece of artwork in the house. This was painted on canvas and then stitched, if you can see, with embroidery. That is so cool. I definitely want to try that. Oh. <laughs> so tired. Um, I don't know. I just, I ever since I got home, I just have not had any energy in. I know that I need to be patient, but this is just like a new level of fatigue. I've never been so tired like this. I literally fell asleep in the waiting room for the swallow people. I've never been like this like when I'm not having pressure issues, I guess I would say. I'm just so tired. So, now that I've sat down on my bed, I think I'm gonna have to go to sleep. But I really like this. I think this is gonna have to be my motto this week because I really need to just relax a little bit. Hello. <laughs> Good, morning. Good morning. Good morning, guys, and welcome to PT boot camp day two. I just got up, did my nebulizers, did my medications. We're gonna be heading out soon. I'm feeling a little bit better than yesterday, a little bit more energetic, I guess but I think a good night of sleep will do that for you. And I also had some more of the cream of rice and the cream of rice that we bought is actually fortified with iron. So I was worried about that at first when we first bought it because I figured I would react to something that had more ingredients. But then we found out my iron was low and I was feeling kind of draggy. I thought maybe let's give it a try had some last night, went over fine with my stomach. I don't know how much of a difference it's really going to make in my iron, but I like to think it's going to make a difference. Now I'm just waiting on Lauren to be ready. This place is so cute, you guys. Oh, and look, I discovered a way to keep my hair out of the Velcro that's like on the back of this brace. And that is, I made myself one of those like little messy bun hats. So the hat covers not just the head strap, but it also covers all that obnoxious Velcro. So even if I had like a regular hat on and I put my hair in a braid, the braid gets caught in the Velcro. So, perfect. Now totally back into crocheting full-time because my ear is still hurts really bad, but as soon as I'm back to crocheting full-time, I'll let you guys know because I know that some of you still had blanket orders. And I actually, oh my goodness, I have like four gigantic bins at home of stuff that I've crocheted, mostly last year that I've been meaning to list on my Etsy and I just haven't been able to. So keep your eye out for that. My mom would very much like you to take them off of our hands because we don't have the space in the house for the sheer amount of crocheting. Hello, you guys. I refuse to take off this hat and scarf because it is absolutely freezing in here. <laughs> but we just got back from our physical therapy session, which went really well. I feel like my body is already calming down and I'm in a lot better shape. Like I feel like I'm more stable and able to maybe take on some more exercises soon. Um, I don't know, yesterday I just felt so unstable with my adrenals and with my mast cell and with my POTS and everything that I just, I couldn't, I couldn't even think about 
exercising and moving and stuff like that. And so now I'm feeling a lot more calm. Um, I'm still tired, but it's a different kind of tired. I feel like I was just in this like, I don't know, I would be like speeding and then I'd crash. I'm just feeling more myself. So now I'm just organizing my backpack. I got this new backpack here that I've been carrying with me. Or I haven't really been carrying it, but someone's been carrying it for me or I put it on the back of my chair. And I usually have like six like little bags packed inside of all of my bags just so I know where everything is and I can easily access it and move it from one bag to another. This is like all the stuff that I carry with me all the time. This is insanity looking at it all like this. <laughs> Voila. All organized. Well guys, today was an interesting day. <laughs> Everything went pretty well at PT, but I was exhausted by the time we were leaving. I was just like shaking tired. And so we get home and we get all settled on the couch and the upstairs neighbors decided that they were going to do laundry. The laundry detergent was so strong <laughs> like i'm not being dramatic my sister and my mom are not allergic to any of this stuff and they were like coughing and choking it was so strong so bad i went into like the worst mast cell reaction i maybe ever have had definitely that i've had in a very very long time my whole like esophagus and my vocal cords just went and just completely closed down and so i could not swallow at all i was just swallow gagging like my body kept trying to swallow but it just was completely blocked off i couldn't talk i couldn't communicate what was happening i started just breaking out and like hives across my chest and shaking and it was just not a good situation. Of course, this is like five seconds after I reorganized all of my emergency medical bags. So my mom was like running around trying to find it like the EpiPen that she didn't know she had to Epi me or call 911. My sister is like getting me something to write down to communicate on and like trying to understand my weird sign language. Honestly, probably should have Epi, but luckily my airways actually stayed open enough that I did not feel like I needed to epi right then i had my mom give me 50 milligrams of crushed and dissolved benadryl through the g-tube and my sister put one of the dissolving zofrens under my tongue which helped with like the es esophageal spasms and the gagging and after a while i could kind of talk again i still have a really bad headache gi I just don't feel well so then they moved me to the other other room because apparently my bedroom's right over the laundry room and i'm sitting there and people like showed up outside and just started like smoking pot right outside the window and even though the window was closed it was very strong and all of us could smell it and whew, a lot of meds were taken today a lot of inhalers i feel like a dog being kicked when it's down. I need to do another nebulizer and I don't even feel safe enough to take off my mask. So I don't know what we're gonna do. This is day two of like two weeks. Um, we called the landlord and she called the upstairs tenant and I guess they said it's not gonna happen again. But I mean, you can't tell someone not to do laundry. It's just, we asked maybe if they could use our like scent free laundry detergent or if you know they could at least just skip like the dryer sheets next time or if they could let us know when they were going to do laundry so that we could coordinate appointments or leave the house for them and, and of course my appointment tomorrow is an early appointment so i gotta get to sleep i got a lot to be thankful for still so i'm gonna do this nebulizer and then I'm gonna go to bed. Good night, you guys. I love that I still managed to, wait, hold on. That's better. 
I love that I still managed to hold on to the dream that I'm actually going to wake up with my alarm one of these days. I don't know about you guys, but I'm one of those people who, if I set an alarm, I wake up like every half hour for like three hours before the alarm goes off. Because in my head, I know the alarm is going to go off and I just can't ignore it. So I always set like 10 alarms and one of them is for like the last possible second and I literally have never slept into that alarm. But I like to think that one day I will. And of course, I mean, I'm sure the day that I forget to set one, that'll be the day that I sleep in. All right guys, day three. It's an earlier appointment today and I'm still on a Benadryl hangover, so. This should be fun, but I do have friends who are also going to be down there, so it's going to be kind of exciting getting to see them, and we might hang out afterwards, which would be really cool. It's just me, C, and Trish today. Lauren is back at the Airbnb. She didn't have an appointment today, so she gets to sleep in, and hopefully we'll meet up with her later when we go to visit our friends. <sighs> I feel like I just can't win with this mask cell stuff right now. It's like I'm trying so hard <laughs> to avoid triggers and take good care of my body. And honestly, I just feel like I'm being sabotaged from every direction. There seems to be a lot of smokers around here, especially around where we're staying. I'm struggling. I think that we kind of have to work on our emergency protocol a little bit after yesterday's reaction. We were I think we're under the impression that we were ready for that kind of thing and um, when it came down to like should we epi, should we ER, it was like uh, no one understands what I'm trying to say, I had just organized my bags, exactly, and um, I just reorganized my bags so none of us really knew <laughs> where anything was and what was going on and how to stop it. So. Yeah, we were sure, like, should we call an ambulance? Should we do Benadryl? And of course I opted for Benadryl because it's the least drastic. And luckily that worked. But it was just really eye-opening that, like, if something happens, and luckily I was conscious and communicative with my hands and my mind, but I couldn't talk. So that kind of made it a little bit harder. But we're learning. Uh, hopefully we don't have to keep learning the hard way, but we're learning. I felt like it was that scene out of <clears throat> I Love Lucy where Oh, when she gets, when she goes into labor and everyone's running around and trying to get her stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's a little bit how it was. But, that's okay. You know, we'll get it next time. Hopefully it's not next time. Oh, okay. It is chilly out there. We are just getting home to the... Airbnb, our little home away from home here. And oof, I am tired, but feeling pretty good. I'm definitely already noticing a difference in my just overall health. Um, we've been working a lot on just calming down my adrenal system, calming down my autonomic nervous system. And uh, yeah, no, I can definitely tell the difference. And even though now I'm doing more, I still feel less fatigued than I did when we started on Monday. So that is a good sign. And that's only three days. Imagine where we could possibly end up in two weeks. Maybe I'll be running marathons by then. I'm pretty hopeful. Don't know if we're gonna be able to see my friends later though. She's not feeling super great. She didn't even really get to PT, so that stinks. We'll see what happens. We might go visit them a little bit later. For now, I think we're just gonna curl up and rest. My sister got me into a couple new shows, so maybe we'll watch one of those together. It's nice having a little bit of family time outside of our normal environment. I think sometimes you get stuck in kind of a role, and when you're just in the same environment, you kind of get locked into that. I don't really know, but it's, just, it's nice to be somewhere else with a family. I think is what I'm trying to get at. Little change of scenery. Reliving our childhoods. We would go to Blockbuster like every single week and we would literally just always get the same movie, the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Oh my gosh, remember we would like set up 
like a whole movie theater in our house. We put numbers on the couch cushions, like a. a yeah, movie we like make house. popcorn bags. Oh my gosh. You think you'll be able to eat popcorn soon? Maybe. I don't know. Popcorn's not worth it to me unless it's covered in cheese, like Smart Food. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. It is Thursday. It is day four of our little PT adventure. Dad is with us today. Hello. He came in yesterday. He has today and tomorrow. Do you have tomorrow off too? Yes. So we're having a little family bonding session now in the B&B. My sister and my mom actually had her physical therapy appointment earlier in the day. So hopefully afterwards they're gonna get to do some mother-daughter bonding and go to the mall or something like that and then you know we can do some daddy daughter bonding this week is going by really fast like i keep thinking oh i have two weeks and it's like mm, actually this week's almost over so i guess i kind of have to prioritize what i really want to work on today we're changing my balance and proprioception a lot so she's really teaching me how to understand how and where my body is moving in space but I'm in a transition period now where I'm used to the old way and so when we are changing it, I'm a little bit off. I feel a little crooked, I feel a little off balance, but I think it's going to settle down and obviously it's all for the best. We found the perfect swing for Christina. Right now we're right next to the ocean, as you can see. Right. We had a little bit of homework from Trish. She wanted me to try out some various, I don't know, what would you call it? Different, um, not consistencies. Yeah, she wanted me to practice walking on different... I can't think of the word because it's too cold. But, oh, uh, what's the word? Okay, it is so cold outside, so I couldn't even hold the camera up. But basically, Trish wanted us to try out um, moving from different... I still can't think of the word. Different surfaces, ground surfaces. Surfaces. Okay, she wanted me to test walking on different surfaces, and I think that she also wanted um, my dad to kind of have a better understanding about what we're doing in our therapies. And so we just walked a little bit around we tried out like asphalt and walking up the curb and then going onto the sand and the grass um but i'm just realizing that the beach that we're at is the same beach that i came to with my mom a few months ago or more than that now because i was uh stuck in the wheelchair and so i remember we just came and sat up here because I couldn't walk in the sand so it's kind of special to come here again and be able to walk and do the things I wasn't able to do last time maybe next time I come here I'll be swimming who knows but it's so gorgeous look at this Field trip number two completed. Trish wanted us to practice grocery shopping. Oh my gosh, that is the most beautiful sunset. Hold on. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see. Yeah, it boy. is gorgeous. Wow. Anyway, grocery shopping is kind of a difficult task for someone like me. Well, first of all, up until now, I don't really eat, so it hasn't been a huge problem. But now that we are starting to reincorporate food, I think it's about time that I practice my skills. So it's kind of difficult for me to navigate around a store without being able to turn. I also have a lot of problems with vertigo and things moving. Um, so one of the things that really helps is actually for me to lean on the carriage we took a little bit of a video clip of that but that actually really helps me to have some stability um, something that is going to be really difficult is getting stuff down off shelves and i will have to be 
comfortable asking for help. I can't really look up or down, so for me to see a shelf, I have to back way up. If I want to get something up off the shelf, like higher or lower, then my sight line, by the time I get close enough to the shelf to reach it, I can no longer see the shelf. For me. I think practicing asking for help is going to actually be one of the most difficult tasks for me. Independence is our ultimate goal here, so, you know, I might have to swallow my pride. Also, I bought a mango because I found a really great list of histamine foods last night that I'm going to link down below for you guys. So I was trying to figure out what food to try next. So I went in there looking for a cantaloupe but the cantaloupes were not ripe and I didn't want to get like a pre-cut cantaloupe because as things sit, they acquire more histamines. So I grabbed a mango because mangoes were on the yes list. I don't know how well it's going to puree. We'll have to see, but hey, we're trying, right dad? You got it. <laughs> it's a good day. Yeah, so we went to our favorite local little market here. It's called Dave's Market and they have all of these prepared foods and my mom and my dad are like obsessed with the certain salmon. salmon that they make there. If you're ever in Rhode Island, go to Dave's Market, get the salmon with like the sweet chili sauce. From what I understand, you will not be disappointed. And the prices are actually really decent. So like if you got that dish at a restaurant, it would cost you so much more. Anyway, we're gonna go meet back up with the rest of the family and see what the plan is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I can't even believe it. Believe this. this whole time, my sister has been complaining that this was the most uncomfortable couch ever. And. I just didn't. <laughs> just found out that. This. Uh, this. Never seen a couch like this in my oh life. Oh my gosh. The backrests are adjustable. He just starts playing around with it. <laughs> Cause it looks like this, and I think that this is comfortable because I'm shaped like this. <laughs> I'm just stuck in an L shape, but sh she was so uncomfortable. Oh my gosh, and you slept here last night yeah. with your legs on the, <laughs> on the air bed. This whole thing turns into a bed. Oh my gosh. I can't even believe that. This is the coolest couch ever. Couch that you hate so much. This is adjustable. You can lean it back, right? And game changer. How do we not know that was there? <gasps> Allah. Game. rotten inside. I'm very sad. My heart is rotten inside. <laughs> so I'm going to try butternut squash tonight instead. I really like butternut squash. I was just kind of looking forward to some mango. I don't know. Aren't we all? Oh well. Okay, so butternut, butternut squash, squash day for the day first one. time. Let me see. I don't know if I put enough salt. Not enough salt, but so good. Oh, yay. Now that you added half the container of salt. So good. Okay, other POTS patients are going to understand. Like, there is just never enough salt. Yeah, you crave it. You can't help it. 
Also, I'm super bummed because we had one saline bag left. And I was really... For today. Well, for this week. Right. Yeah, so I didn't have any other bags. And I went to hook it up and it was compromised. It wasn't sterile. They'd sent it like that. So I wasn't able to use it. And I was like banking on that, keeping me alive for tomorrow. So mm. now I'm just, I chugged like four of these bottles in the last hour. And now I'm trying to like super salt. But I'll be okay. Well, I'm asking for a delivery tomorrow. Kind of won't be before PT. It'll be after. We'll see. Maybe I'll have to run it during, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy this and I'm gonna enjoy my night. <laughs> is she posing with the puzzle box? Mom, this is puzzling. Is the We're trying to get you an action. This is an action shot. Are you eating your chocolate? Daddy, <laughs> Daddy got her gift. Oh, it's the video. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get like the perfect ultimate picture. No. Yeah. Doing a puzzle. She's becoming she, the puzzle princess. She's becoming an actual human again and having her own hobbies. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was always the puzzle queen, but when you were little, you were the puzzle princess. Yeah, I was actually one of those. Um, you were like, like really good at genius it. kids, like whiz kids. Yeah, like the maps of like the United States. States. You just <laughs> <laughs> I was. I was a savant. That's exactly. That's exactly the word I was looking for. I was a savant. Okay, give me my camera back. Okay, Lauren Cam, off. Way more mobile than people give him credit for. Hey, why aren't you running? What brace? I seriously love the winter. Winter definitely gives you a lot more options. Ta-da! I can't believe that it's Friday already. It's day five. So this is like the end of our first week here. It's just crazy. The time has just flown by so fast. But I feel like I've already made a lot of progress, which is awesome. We've done mostly manual therapy so far. So basically, I think my body just needed to be put back into alignment and to kind of get a hang of just moving as it's going to be moving from now on it's like whenever you have a fusion your body has to get used to this new way of moving and it can be a difficult process for sure so I'm just so thankful for what I've been given in the time here and I wish you could do this every day even though today I'm honestly I'm not feeling well at all Ugh. I was just up all night and I missed out on saline yesterday my GI system is just like it has not been this bad in many many years and I don't think it's the reintroduction of food because it started before that and it started with the IV antibiotics so I think the problem is that just the IV antibiotics totally messed up my gut flora and the natural bacteria and it's gonna take a little while for it to get back into alignment I'm probably gonna do some tests just to make sure it's not like a C. diff infection or SIBO or something like that Honestly, I think I just needed to give it time. Um, I've been taking a lot of probiotics. I like have been getting the capsules and dissolving them and just using those. But uh, my dad and my sister are leaving for the weekend. I think my sister might come back. Uh, but anyway, I've been taking probiotics and they haven't been helping. Or if they have been helping, then I haven't noticed. We're gonna actually try to drop the probiotic because this morning I googled SIBO which you can look that up if you want to S-I-B-O S-I-B-O and I don't think that's exactly what's going on but it did say that probiotics can sometimes make it a lot worse I just think well since I'm not feeling well and I'm on the probiotics it's definitely worth trying dropping them for a little while and seeing if that makes a difference so not fun it's life but Glad to be off the antibiotics. All right, guys, we got some homework again. We're going back to the beach. This time we got my mom in the driver's seat <laughs> and we are basically going to do the same thing that we did yesterday, but just a little bit differently. I'm gonna try walking on different surfaces, being aware of my surroundings. And if I've kind of learned anything from yesterday, she kind of wants to see the difference between how my dad handles it and how my mom handles it. As we work towards independence, I have to work a lot on 
kind of knowing when I need help and when to ask for it and the people around me need to know as well. So I think in the past, my dad has been pretty out of touch with what kind of help I need and I never really asked for it from him. And my mom has been very aware of like if a pothole is coming up or if there's something I might trip on that she almost helps me too much in the sense that I'm not learning how to cope with my new body and my new sense of balance. So we're just gonna repeat what we did yesterday, just a quick kind of walk around the area. I came prepared this time. I'm a little bit warmer, got my parka and yeah. And I also have to bring back a rock and I have to pick it up without falling over, which is actually a little bit harder than you might think. You get super top heavy in these braces and <laughs> I have wobbly legs in sand. So I have to bring back a rock or a shell to prove that I made it. Maybe there's a kip shop around here. We can just go buy a shell. I'm a good point in Connecticut. Uh, where are we? Rhode Island. Their homework done already here. <laughs> Our assignment. Sure is beautiful. My hand is it is raw. It is 20 degrees. <laughs> Shout out to the literal one other woman who's crazy enough to come to the beach on this freezing day and decides to park right next to us and start smoking. Shout out to you lady. Thanks a lot. Proof. Oh, there's sand in that. It's got sand all down my jacket. <laughs> And also proof that I'm an overachiever. I got two others. <laughs> These ones can be for me. I was told that this is a store that I would like. So we're gonna check it out. Elephant. Outside already. Good morning, one and all. It is a Saturday, and I am just chilling out. My friend is gonna come over in a little while, so that's really exciting. I haven't seen her in a while. She's been off at school. She's going back to school tomorrow, so she's driving all the way up here from Massachusetts with her mom to come spend a couple hours with us and catch up, so I'm very excited. Definitely a little bit tired out from the week I've had, but overall, I just feel a lot better than I did when I got here. So that's a really good sign. Tip for you guys who 
are dressing with feeding tubes. Wrap dresses and wrap tops. Best thing ever. See, I've got this like little wrap top. Hold on, this is way easier to do in the mirror. So anyway, I have just this little like wrap top on. It's like little short sleeves. I think it was from Urban Outfitters. They were having like a crazy after Christmas sale. But if it's still there, I will link it down below. I'm able to run the tubing kind of underneath it, hide it a little bit. And especially with all this layering, you can really just completely hide that tube. And I guess if you had a backpack on, you could kind of just tuck it away in the backpack and no one would have to see. Anyway, that's that. Just thought I'd share that. Actually, would you guys be interested in, well, I guess it would have to be a series. I don't know, you'll have to let me know down below. But um, just like how to hide like tubing, braces, certain things. Let me know what you have the hardest time hiding and I will try to fix that for you. Also, jeggings are like the best invention. I thought I wasn't gonna be able to wear real pants anymore because of the shunt. Um, my shunt scar is right here. So when I sit down, like most of my jeans and pants would like really dig in and it was so uncomfortable. So I was like, oh, guess I'm never wearing pants again. And then I discovered like American Eagles joggers and I'm gonna have to sell my other pants. Today was really fun. It was really nice to see my friend. I hadn't seen her in so long and she's going back to school tomorrow. So I'm so glad we were able to make that work. She and her mom came and we just had a really nice time chatting and catching up. It was so nice, honestly, to just not talk about anything medical <laughs> and just talk about musicals and old memories. <sighs> yeah, it's good to have a day off. And now we're watching The Marvelous Miss Maisel. I've been wanting to watch it for a while, but my friend kind of clinched the deal. She really, really likes it. I had heard about it, I think, on Megan McGinnis' Instagram page. She played Jerusha Abbott in the musical version of Daddy Long Legs, which probably means absolutely nothing to all of you. <laughs> but she's a... Uh, performer that I really like and I guess she's in the next season so I can't wait to see her I'm just curled up now with Horton making any progress over there on your puzzle yeah I'm almost done can't wait to see it oh boy it's been nice and relaxing it's nice to have my dad and Lauren here but it's also nice to just have a little bit of room to breathe so it's finished Good job, Mama. I know that wasn't easy. How you doing, guys? Welcome to Sunday. Welcome to the end of another week. It was a good day, and then a difficult evening. Let's just say that. We had today completely off, and my dad and my sister are still at home, so we were like, looking up attractions, what should we go do, like, we should take advantage of this time, and then it ended up being, like, in the 20s, and it was a freezing outside and it was so windy and nothing was open the only things that we could find were like driving tours but driving tours with a fused body are really not fun because you can't look out the window so um we decided that we would do absolutely nothing and it was glorious it's so nice just to have the time to give yourself permission to just do nothing and wear pajamas because i do that a lot I just do nothing and wear pajamas, but usually it's not a choice. And so <laughs> when it's a choice, it's a whole lot more fun. I even got to try some pureed cauliflower, which was really good. I'm trying to try foods that are building blocks. So things like rice, cauliflower, sweet potatoes, those are all building blocks for other things in the future because they make flowers and like, you know, people are all obsessed with like, everything cauliflower right now cauliflower crusts all that stuff so i'm trying those foods because to be honest i don't really look forward to eating uh, pureed food but i am interested in nutrition i really want to build up my nutrition and so getting some vegetables and color and fiber in my diet is really exciting and like i said building blocks but anyway, the problems this evening arose 
when the neighbors decided to do laundry again, which is what pretty much sent me into an anaphylactic reaction earlier in the week. Now, an anaphylactic reaction is slightly different than anaphylactic shock, if you didn't know that. So it's like the stages leading up to shock. Uh, I did not have to use my EpiPen and did not go into shock, which was really great. This time I had just gotten out of the shower and I, it smelled so strongly and I immediately just like started kind of, it felt like I was fainting. Basically, I like lost my hearing and my vision, like, you know, like before you faint, everything just goes all warm and fuzzy and whatever, but I didn't faint. I just couldn't hear and see very well or breathe. So I just sat here and walked back and forth while my mom tried to understand what the heck I was pantomiming. The upstairs tenants, they're more permanent tenants. They're not like a B and B tenants are not supposed to be using the laundry room at all. So oops, we got people in trouble. They came like knocking on the door and he literally like unplugged and moved the washer and dryer so these people couldn't use it anymore because I was so sick and it was so strong. I feel so bad, like I feel like a little awkward. I hope we don't run into them before we leave, but what can you do? I didn't know. My, my mom had just checked text to them asking if she would be allowed to like put masking tape around the doorway to try to like block out some of the smell. So, sorry, not our fault. There's like a million doors in this house. I think that I'm the one who likes it the best. My sister hates this house. That's why she went home because, well, let's just say like the bathroom isn't very up to date and my sister is obsessed with taking baths. So as soon as she realized that she couldn't take baths, she left. Yeah, I mean, I like this house. It's quirky. It's a little bit crooked. It's a lot of updating it needs. But you know what? This house has character and I identify with this house. But I need to end this video because it is Sunday and the new week is upon us. I can't wait to see what comes up in my next week of physical therapy. And I am so glad to take you guys along with me for this journey. So, like always, if you liked this video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, I make them every week. I guess I don't post them every week. But if you want to see more and you want a notification about that, you can hit the subscribe and the bell button. And besides that, I will see you guys next week. Bye.